up everybody, it's your boy Peter here and oh man, have I already used up all my energy for this intro. Cringy jokes aside, welcome back everybody, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new episode of the devlog of my indie game, so sit back, relax and enjoy number 3, where I try to design an actual character for the game. I know, I know, some of you liked Mr. Cool Sunglasses Red Bean, but like every good hero, it's his duty to go and brighten up another rising project now, somewhere that it's not here. So thank you Red Bean, we love you, but now get out of here! <laughs> yup, as I said, today I'm gonna attempt to make a low poly character for my game. I'll be using Blender and I aim to get the first 3D rendition of the character I designed into the in Procreate at the end of the last episode. What? You haven't seen any of the previous episodes? Here's what we've been up to so far. I've come up with a concept for a chill exploration game. Then, at first, I tried to get some inspiration by sketching down some stylized 3D nature assets. After that, I made a camera system that allows me to smoothly transition across multiple areas of the world. In the last one, I talked about and started implementing the game's dialogue system, which is built upon Secret Lab's yarn spinner. By the way, if you end up liking the video, make sure to let me know by gently clicking that subscribe button as that will really help the channel and myself out a lot. So, thank you. Okay, now that you're all caught up with the progress, let's get right into it. So I'd be lying if I told you I've never modeled a 3D character in Blender before. I've tried to do so a few times before and I managed to get some good results. Never perfect, but I never expected them to be. This time though, I started with a concept drawing I made prior to diving into the modeling, so I felt like I already had a path laid down. I'm trying to keep the style of the game stylized and somewhat cartoony, so I took some creative liberties with the proportions and I'm quite satisfied with them. While the time-lapse is rolling, let me tell you something about the process. I started by using 2D sketch as a reference. I didn't make a side view because I'm really lazy, but I'm keeping the level of detail fairly low, so that should not really be an issue. I started by modeling all the parts on their own. The legs, the feet, the groin, the body, the arms, the hands and the head. The last thing I added was the hair. I had no idea why I thought making somewhat low poly upper hair was gonna be a piece of cake. Or perhaps it was a piece of cake but a bigger piece of cake that I could chew because it ended up taking as much time as the rest of the model. I'm still not 100% sure about it but I will just roll with it. After the modeling came the hard part rigging and animating the character. Here, I really was, in Uncharted Waters. I created a very simple skeleton for the character since I'm not aiming to make an extremely realistic animations anyway, like I'd even be able to, let's be honest. Anyway, I'm not even gonna waste much of your time talking about the animating part, it was awful, but at the end, given that it was my first time doing it, I'm fairly satisfied with the result. As of writing the script for this video, I'm not sure I'll even texture the character in time for the episode, but if I do so, I'll keep it simple for now. A palette with a few colors and the UVs scattered around the map, as it's pretty common practice to do in low poly modeling. I'm recording this the same day I've imported the character into the game. The process is pretty straightforward and goes as far as dragging the file into the project and tweaking a couple of settings. I'm now gonna play a clip of me first reacting to my hand animated player walking around the map for the first time. And I guess you don't really need to understand Italian to say I'm pretty excited about it. Just take the pitch of my voice for it. <laughs> Sembra vivo! I know it's not the best you've ever seen because it's not the best I've ever seen either, but I'm good with it. I'll probably end up snatching some animations from Mixamo, 
while I wait for the game to be at a point where I need to refine them. For the moment though, I have enough to start working on all the characters and the story and quest lines, so I guess you can expect some of that in the next episodes. Here we are guys, unfortunately it's that time of the day again, the video is almost over and we'll have to part ways. Fear not though, cause if you like what you just saw, you are totally free to follow the channel as I hope I will make more content that you'll like in the future. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video, if you have any ideas, thoughts or feedback you wanna leave in the comment, I will make sure to read and appreciate all of them. With this said, I've been Pita, you've been super cool and in case you decide to stick around, See you next time.